What's happening guys? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we arrived in Rispar City, traveled around, saw the sights, and we also defeated the gym leader Roxanne and got our first gym badge. Yeah! Also, the last uh, yeah, episode, uh, some dude was causing some, some ruckus. He, I think he was the same dude from early in the Petterburg Woods, but uh, he went uh, up north, so uh, why don't we just go check it out and see if we can, you know, do a little detective work, see what's going on, and try to help any way we could. Now, hey, it's that guy from the, the Petterburg Woods, that's good to say. Oh, it's you. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Petterburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. You know, we helped you last time. Might as well just help you out now. But here we are in Route 116. We have the potential to catch new Pokemon, so let's see what we can find. And I believe I changed my thing. Okay, no, I didn't. And we got Kipper out front. But uh, since we currently already own a Zigzagoon, I'm just going to switch out real quick. And oh, Clyde has an item. Let's go check what that is. And it's a protein. Can't use that, so we'll just, you know keep it in our uh, inventory so let's use Clyde out here you know he's not super high level but oh here's another Pokemon he's not super high level but we have a Wismer now I kind of wish we didn't encounter Wismer because in the next area where we can catch a Pokemon you can only obtain Wismers there so if I catch this now I'll be missing out on a Pokemon in the next area, which is kind of fortunate. And there's some... I'm trying to think. There's only really one Pokemon I would be interested in catching here. And that would be Nakata, because Nakata has the potential to evolve into two different Pokemon. And it'll be kind of interesting to, um, to use one, if not both of them, on my team for this run-through. And that'd be kind of cool. But, uh, Wismer is another normal type, much like Zigzagoon. And I... I, I Never really was into Wismer, not until sixth generation, where it's uh, one of its final evolution learns a really good move. But I, other than that, I really don't like Wismer at all. Wismer is very timid. If it starts to cry loudly, it becomes startled by its own crying and it cries even harder. When it finally stops crying, the Pokemon goes to sleep all tired up. And what, what, a, what a great description of Pokemon! So, um, you know, going to give you uh, just the generic. Wizard name, we're gonna name you Boombox because you are very loud. And unfortunately, Clyde is, you know, kind of low on level, so it's gonna switch him out quick, pick up this item, and we got a repel. That could kinda of help, so let's go battle. Oh crap, I forgot these these trends react to if you run right by them, they're gonna look straight at you and at the battle. So might as well. Uh, I'm using the Wormpool. So potentially you know, get a level. Let's go Roger, level 6, and this is level 8 Wormpool. We're faster, that's, that's pretty good. I think we have a... I forgot to check the nature that uh, I have, and I believe... Oh, no, it was a speed tie. But I believe Wormpool is actually part of poison, so we can't get poisoned by our own Pokemon, so... I might as well just switch out, because we're going to be doing, like, no damage at all to the poison Wormpool. So, I, I think I might be able to get Kipper up to level 16 by the end of this battle because I won't have the option to switch at this point. But what he just brings us next, he has a Nikata. This is what I really wanted to catch. I would love to, the opportunity to use Nikata on my team. I think I, I just talked about this, so why am I bringing it up again? But yeah, Nik even though Nikata is a park ground type, it, it, it is kind of interesting to use. And look, we're level 16, so that's pretty nice. And you have a Silcoon. Nice. I, I don't believe this thing has... Um, what What's the word I'm looking for? Any attacking moves, hopefully. Okay, no, just using Harden. I believe Silcoon is just a Bug-type. So you could potentially get poison and, you know, make this battle go a little bit faster, I would assume. But now I'm just trying to get Roger some experience because if you guys don't know, Bug Pokemon generally evolve at earlier levels so you know just if it, the sooner he levels up the faster he evolves and like the more useful I would say you become but it's not really happening so it's just gonna keep using the Harden and Harden as you know raises your physical defense and, and Wormpool only has physical attacks that's why the, our best bet 
is to uh, use Kipper. And at this point, I, I oh, my whole team is physical besides Kipper, so I'm going to need to catch uh, some more special attackers eventually. And just like that, Kipper is now level 16. And it does evolve now. So that's pretty good evolving pretty early in the LP. So I have a really strong Pokemon early on, so if I'm ever in a stick, sticky situation, I can rely on our newly formed Marsh Top to get the job done. And that's pretty awesome. And now Marsh Top has the uh, subtype of ground, so our um, weakness to electricity, uh, electric Pokemon, is now an immunity. But now our only weakness is grass, which are now four times super effective like, uh, against. So, yeah, that, that makes Marsh Tomp a really good Pokemon. Looking for us, there's really no grass Pokemon used in this uh, in this game, so that's pretty awesome. So, I'm just going to heal real quick, and I'll meet you guys back in that route. Alright, so we're back in Route 118 to come up here, and this is... I guess we might as well just fight this guy, because, you know, he's in the way. And he actually has a really cool Pokemon that uh, we won't be able to catch for quite some time. And no, it's not Exigoon, because you can see we already have Exigoon. And, okay, that didn't do a lot. So hopefully, Roger can knock that out. But I get a crit. That's pretty useful. But uh, right now, I'm only battling this guy just to show you. And hopefully get Roger up to level 7, because he's so close. And... You know, we might as well just use Kipper right here to get the job done, because it, it's it's getting pretty close to evolving. And I literally have nothing to talk about at this point. I should have just skipped over this battle. I think uh, next the next battle we get into, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, fight it, get our voice. Oh, look, Roger level 7. So that's, that's really great. It's going to evolve after this battle. So, like I said, the next uh, change is that is not required to fight, I'm just going to, you know, edit it out, and, like, I guess we get a chance to showcase our newly acquired move in Mudshop, not to say Mudshop, <laughs> I mean Mudshot, so now we have two forms of stab attacks, we got Water Gun, and we got Mudshot, and, you know, let's just end it off with a tackle, and, well, BAM, Mudshop is done, so, yeah, that will do it for this, uh, Youngster Joey, uh, I guess you don't have a Rattata in this game, now does he, and with that, we have a uh, another evolution. Now this is great. Now I actually might have a chance to use one of the two forms that uh, Wormpool evolves into. Like not, like I said before, that Wormpool was the only uh, one of the only situations where you your time of day is influenced on your evolution you get. And we got Cascoon. That, that, that's pretty good. And we get Harden. So yeah. Uh, now that we got Cascoon. Well, I got an item. Oh, uh, we got a red candy. Oh, that's kind of a bum. I, I wish I was able to use red candies, but, uh, nope. Not happy that might play through. But, yeah, that, that's awesome. We got Casco now. And I'll be able to use a Dust Tox. And right now, our team, our main focus will be Kipper, Clyde, and Roger. Not too sure about Boombox now, because I don't want, like, too many normal types on my team at this point. But a Boombox it's a really good special attacker. It's a really good nice special attack for a normal type, and it learns a lot of variety of moves. So that's good. So, but potentially could be a uh, good Pokemon to use. But for right now, it's just going to be Kipper, Roger, and Clyde. Now, any Pokemon that uh, I do not use will go in the box, and it'll be like to start building up an army, as you can say. So, and I guess I, I probably will be switching out Pokemon throughout the playthrough to you know, just bring a variety to my team. And we found an X special, really not fitting the X item, so I, I, I doubt I will be using this item whatsoever. So let's talk to this old man. Oh, what am I to do? We were on a walk, Pico, and I, when we were jumping, jumping, we were jumped by an odd dog. The scandal made off of my darling Pico. Wow, Pico. Alright, so like, when I caught the Wismer, well, I'm sorry, my eyes kind of dry. Uh... When I call the Wismer, I talk about how the next area is only uh, only has Wismers, and this is the Rupture Tunnel. Like I said, 100% of the time, you will find a Wismers. That's why I kind of wanted to find a different Pokemon in, uh, in the previous area. So it kind of sucks. I, I, I might just throw a Repel because I don't want to deal with a bunch of these Wild Wismers. And now uh, we, got, we got a Pokeball. So um, as you saw, there's, there's the Aqua Grunt Thug. Let's go talk to him real quick.
What? Are you... You coming? Come and get some, then. I'll get some, alright. I'm not gonna read that. I'm sorry. Because that was... Not even a single ounce of English, sir. You need to, uh... Go back to school. So, most likely, this is the same Aqua Gorn from... The Petal Board for And this time, it's Pushan. It's level 11. And just kind of a little scary now. But, you know, we got a big, bad Cascoon on our team. And what we start... He's starting to step on this. He's using Hal to resist attack. But if I can get a, a poison on this Poochiana, I'll be really happy. Oh, I speak of the devil. There's the poison. So, now his HP is going to be whirled down slightly each turn, so that's good for us. Let's go switch out a Kipper, because I don't want Roger uh, to die. Because, you know, just in case we get any critical hits, it could spell pretty bad for us with uh, Kipper. So now, he sent attacks us. Hopefully none of our attacks miss, because that would really uh, be detrimental to, to us. And it might be able to just knock it out from there with this one water gun. And there it is. So, so things are getting really easy for us here early on with uh, with Kipper. Oh, my Korean crime comes through dead end. I'm pretty sure you did a Hanukkah. What was the biggest crime you've committed? Was it this penny penny theft? Like, come on, dude. This is not. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I do is steal some package from Devin. Ugh. You gotta back that badly. Take it. Give me them goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. And adios, amigo. And hey, this, this dude. Oh, Pico, I'm glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny. And you are? I am pretty sure you can tell by my name, by these dots. My name is dot 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 the third. Oh, so you are George. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage, but see near Petterberg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pico! Alright, so th that will do it for the Rust Turf Tunnel. Now now that we got the Devon Goods, um, I think we should go talk to that dude who wanted to see this back, and uh, I'll try to avoid all these trainers and whatnot. And uh, this is the only trainer we need to avoid now, and now uh, we're, we're home free. So, let's just go out of this area and back in Rosebro City. Here's the guy. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods! You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Oh, thank you, Compadre. I really appreciate that. Excuse me, please. Come with me. No, we will do. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our present office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that part you got back for us. Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slayport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Um, <laughs> what a little girly laugh you got there, sir. Uh, so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here for a second? You know, I'm just going to admire your, I guess those are rocks or something like that in those cases. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Oh, that's nice. Please, go ahead. I am Mr. Stone, president of the Devil Corporation. I just got a word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slayport Shipyard. While on your way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen Duford. I, I, I might as well just do it since you got to go through there to go to Slayport. You know, sure, why not? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a mute. I can't talk. So I can't even say no if I even wanted to. Mr. Stone. Oh, I'm not supposed to read that. Now you should know that I'm a great president. So I need you to be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing return. That's why I want you to have this. Oh, we got a Poke now. What does this do? That device. It is a Pokemon, Navigation, or PokéNet for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on adventure. It's a map of the home region. You can check the locations of Dewford and Slayport easily. Oh, so, uh, that sounds like a pretty cool invention you got there, Mr. Presidente. But, uh, that will do it for this episode, guys. You know, we got a little bit done, we caught a new guy, saved the guy from Death twice, and now we got a, a new task at hand, or two new tasks, head to Slayport and one to do for it. So, uh, this looks like a, a nice place to end the episode off. So, uh, thanks guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke, and I'll see you guys next time.